Alright, I'll admit it that this video is not absolutely necessary to progress on to the next topics, um, but if you are following along with this project and you would like to end up with what I have, you're going to have to structure your program the way I am structuring it. Now, we're at the point right now where we're, we can detect motion and we're taking a picture, but this is not a nice way to set up our program. We also want to have time stamping because we want that on our final product. And since I'm teaching via a big project that kind of builds upon what we have learned, um, I need to implement all these things. So we, 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 we've gone over all these topics before, but now we're going to stitch it all together into one thing that works for us. And so what we're going to do is we're going to change cookie main, which is something that we developed in the, in the last video, and we're going to update it to um, include everything else that we have worked on so far. So what we want to do is we are going to say, uh, we're, we're going to provide a pick path. And in and, and pick path is where we're going to want to save our images because we don't want to keep writing over motion image dot JPEG here. So we're going to say pick path is equal to home pi uh, desktop cookie images. And I have not created this directory yet. So let's go to desktop cookie. And you can see that I cleaned it up a little bit. We're going to make a new directory make a new directory called images and this will just keep things a little bit more organized from here on out so we have it pointing so when we take a picture we have it pointing to uh, this file path then what we're, we're going to want to do is we're going to want to take ourselves a picture so we're going to define a function that is called take picture or rather, let's not call it take picture because that's what PyCam calls it. And I want to be different. So we're going to say capture image. And we're going to pass in some variables, including current time and the pick path. Before we do that, we need to get this variable current time. So we're actually going to have to define another function that's going to be called get time and we pass nothing into that and what get time is going to do is it's going to say uh, it's going to fetch the current time and it's going to say current time is equal to date time dot now and then we're going to return current time but of course we can't do that just yet uh, because we haven't imported from date time the uh, function called date time but now we've just imported it so now we have our current time and we're going to pass current time into our capture image so let's go back up and so we have our current time uh, if you remember we're going to have to generate a file uh, name so generate the pictures name and we're going to call that pick name and pick name is equal to current time uh, dot string formatting time and we're going to say our file name is percent year percent month period percent uh, day hyphen percent hour percent minute percent second and we're also going to add on an extension dot jpeg and then we're going to set up our camera so with pi camera um, dot pi camera as camera. Now, I, I can't remember if I noted this in my last video, but I, I, I know I've mentioned it before. The reason why we're setting up our camera like this is so that we close the camera when we're done. So right now, because, oh my goodness, generate. Um, because we are taking pictures in our p3 pycam.motion, if we were to just set up our camera here and, and not close it afterwards, uh, we're going to be encountering errors. So we're going to temporarily take over the camera and take a picture and then go back to our uh, processing for motion. And that's what width allows us to do. So we're going to set up the resolution, resolution of our image and we want it to be 1280 by 720 I think is what we've been using yep yeah. all right and then finally we're going to capture our image and we are going to pass that our pick path plus our pick name 
Cool, right? And then just for confirmation, let's print, we have taken a picture. All right, cool. So now we have our function to capture an image. We have our function to fetch the current time. Uh, let's delete this. Okay, so going back to our big while true loop, we are getting the state of motion detection, whether or not we're getting it. And if we are, if it's true, if we are detecting motion, what we then want to do is say current time is equal to get time. And then we want to say capture image, uh, passing it current time because we need to as well as the pick path and we should be able to take pictures now so let's give this a save let's give this a run just uh, checking halfway through make sure everything's running because I probably have some typo somewhere so it should say false 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 and then put my hand up there we go sure enough there we go there is a typo somewhere <laughs> so let's run that again I knew there was something up. False, false, hand up, true. Take a picture, please. We have taken a picture, excellent. And we go back to true. Okay, so I moved my hand out of the way, my mistake. Go back to false. All right, cool, gonna break it. Gonna make sure it is actually taking a picture. And then we have the picture after I moved out of the way, picture with my hand in it, cool, right? Okay, so we are taking our pictures, but we are not done yet because we want to timestamp our picture. Now I'm going to have our capture image function here return the pick name because we're going to need that pick name and we're going to say pick name is equal to the result of this and then finally we're going to set up a definition here of a uh, sorry a, a function here we're going to define a function here called uh, stamp time timestamp. So we're going to define timestamp and we need to pass it some value. So we need to pass it the current time, the same time that we used to take the picture. We're going to have to pass it pick path so it knows where to find it. And finally, it's going to have to pass the name of what it is of the of the uh, picture that we took. OK, so if you remember, uh, we're, we're going to have to generate. So create message to stamp on picture and our message is going to be equal to um, a something different from the pick name it's going to be current time dot string format time and we're going to pass it uh, the year the month or no let's year month uh, day dash percent year percent nope colon there you go because we're formatting time right and there we go. So we have ourselves a message, nice, short, and sweet. We then need to uh, create command to execute. And our command is going to be, or let's call it timestamp command is going to be equal to, and this is the big long one. So we're going to call USR bin convert and space. And then we're going to uh, give it the complete file path so uh, before we do that let's 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 get that complete file path so uh, variable for file path and we're saying file path is equal to pick path plus pick name and so we're going to change the file of file path and after we point that out we're going to write some letters on it so point size 36 fill is going to be red we are going to annotate and we're going to annotate where we're going to annotate at 700 plus 650 or wherever you would like to have it sitting and then remember the single quotation mark we're going to pass it our message and then we have another closing single quotation mark, so it closes around that message. And then we're going to um, give it a space, another double quotation mark, and finally the file path again. So this is our command that should work. And then we are going to execute the command, 
but before we can do that we need to get the call function so from sub process import call just like before and we are going to call our timestamp command and shell is equal to true and then just confirmation print we have timestamped our picture. All right, cool. So now we've added on this timestamp, and if we're going to add on that timestamp, we want to use the function. So we're going to say timestamp, and we are going to pass it. What do we need to pass? We need to pass it current time. We need to pass it pick path, and we need to pass it pick name, which are all variables we have. Let's give this a run. Okay, false. Put my hand up. True. We have taken a picture. We have time stamped our picture. True again. Okay, cool. So this is supposedly running correctly. That should give false. So I'm just going to break this with the keyboard and let's go take a look at those pictures. There we go. So here you can see we are now taking a picture. We have a Oh, I made a mistake here, but uh, we, we have our date and we have most of our time. Uh, so let me make that correction there. Guess I'm getting tired. So hour, not year there. And there we have it. So now we have our main function, our cookie main, that has individual functions that are being called. And we effectively have our security camera part set up and we are able to take pictures now and and that's kind of cool but there's going to be more to this project than that we want to turn on the lights right and, and we're not going to be able to catch our cookie thief unless the temperature is just right so i have to introduce you to analog uh components and all that so the next videos i'm going to create more videos. Uh, the next videos are going to be on GPIO, introduction, being able to pull sensor data, things like that. But as far as taking pictures goes, uh, we're done. So that's all you need to know for taking pictures. And in the next video, I'll introduce you to GPIO. See you then.